What's up EDG family, Kevin here, and today we're going to be covering one of the most exciting kickstarting campaigns of this fall, Final Girl Series 3 from Van Ryder Games. Super excited to get into this. I have so much Final Girl content on the channel already, so it is awesome to be able to dive into the new stuff with all of you guys. So we're going to be doing that today. We're going to be talking about the new content for Final Girl Series 3. We're going to be talking about the pledges. There is a huge announcement. I cannot even... It's pretty good. I'm going to tell you right now. I think they thought they overhyped it a little bit, but it is still a very good announcement. So we're going to be talking about that. We're going to be talking about, you know, just my thoughts on this uh, series as it goes. A lot of you have left me comments, have left me messages on Discord. A lot of you are all in. A lot of you are, I don't even know if I should back Series 3. I have so much content, and I will tell you right now, I am kind of somewhere in between on that. So we will be talking my final thoughts. We'll be talking... You know what I expect with my pledge just so much to talk about so definitely subscribe to the channel if you want more final girl stuff I appreciate all of you that have watched my videos thus far on this game it is an amazing game and I am quite ready to just go ahead and jump into this campaign with you so I will get us there final girl series 3 final girl series 3 all right so I have the Kickstarter campaign Pulled up, as you can tell, we are fully funded. This is roughly about two hours after after uh, they, they launched their campaign. It's, uh, obviously, like I said, fully funded, coming up on $500,000. They did do a huge announcement when they hit funding. Super awesome. But we're going to get into this. I do want to say congratulations, Van Ryder Games. AJ, you did awesome. I, I was on the Discord pretty much... From the start when this launched, uh, maybe 30 minutes before, just kind of watching a lot of, you know, a lot of what everybody else was feeling, a lot of excitement on this campaign. I, I am excited. I am super excited about what you guys are doing with this series, specifically Series 3. So here we go. We have Final Girl Series 3. If you want it all, I don't even know if that's what it all looks like. There's a lot of things I can tell that are missing, but that is still a lot of boxes, a lot of miniatures it's a lot of content if you're just getting into this good luck to you i don't really have any great recommendations of how we started this i will tell you um when we get probably when we get to the campaign um towards the end i'll talk a little bit about how i've made mistakes on backing final girl in the past and definitely what i'm doing this time but here we go we have an ultimate box which is pretty much what you see up on my gaming shelf individual prices kickstarter price you know what i'm going to talk about it right now i uh when i backed this for series two i didn't back this for series one didn't know about the campaign didn't really know about the game at the time i definitely missed out on that but series two i wanted to pick up some series one stuff and some series two stuff kind of went a la carte and when it came in i quickly realized my mistake i i wanted it all and so it did probably cost me more money to go that route so that's kind of what this is showing you you know there's any chance you're gonna want it all you might uh you might think about what your pledge is but i don't really want to talk too much about the pledges i want to talk about the new stuff um they're they're gonna show you you know this is a modular system all of these locations killers you know can be can be played together so very fun that was a lot of the appeal of this um and then we got a graphic. We have a graphic for how many boxes and combinations you can possibly have. I believe the graphic for Series 2 was 100. So we're all the we're already up to 15 feature films, 225 combinations, and that is not it. That is not it by far. You got vignettes. I assume this is going to have one. They have not announced it yet. I apologize. I wanted to wait. I didn't see it in the stretch goals early on so i will leave some comments when some more information on this campaign uh comes to light but right now 225 if we're just talking about feature films and i will tell you already already it's uh it is incorrect uh infograph we'll get there um but you got the core box you need the core box to play everything i believe they did a barnes and noble core box with uh hans the first the first box from series one so uh, if you picked it up that way you might have an interesting decision to make as far as how you want to pledge but those are all the components that you will need to play final girl now we're getting into the new stuff feature films 
If you watched any of my preview coverage, we talked a little bit about this, but we knew, we now know some more stuff. We know more stuff about this. Um, this is the uh, killer from tomorrow. We have the Hunter as the killer, Sunny Days Mall. Super excited about that location. I'm not going to lie, I do think this is probably the feature I am the most excited about. I do like some Terminator. Not typical horror, but you know, it does fit. I do like the 80s, uh, some of these 80s movies, but I will say, very cool. Very cool movie theme to add to what already has so much. Um, you, it shows all the components. Nothing too crazy, but I did want to point out that there are six miniatures for this. Obviously, as a vehicle miniature, you got two final girls. You have the um, the hunter. There's two probably two hunter miniatures. I'm not really sure which one the other one is because they're you're basically gonna have to defeat the first one. And then maybe rebuild it to fight the second one. Very T2. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but we also have a savior miniature for, well, you know, the person I believe who is the a target of uh, the hunter. Uh, next, we got Razor Face and Hellscape. I will also tell you, this is the one I'm probably the most least excited about. I'm not a huge Hellraiser fan. Um, but I do think it'll be good. I, I'm interested to see how Hellscape works. I think that will probably be what really pulls me into this feature not a whole lot of any any interesting things as far as the components that i see uh nope i do see something right now obviously we have eight hellscape tiles very cool that is kind of what i think i was talking a little bit about when we were previewing this a couple months back how i thought it would be cool to have some maps that that change or that move about that have some kind of uh, asymmetrical setup depending on you know how you shuffle those tiles and then we have two custom Hellscape dies. I do, there's another one that's also going to have some dies, but very, very cool. Affliction cards. I knew we kind of knew about that mechanic if you saw the preview video. And then we'll have four miniatures as well. Um, obviously, probably whatever this is is some kind of vehicle. Don't know. Maybe not. Who knows? Two final girls. And I do think the Hellraiser miniature does look pretty cool. As much as I think he's probably my least favorite aspect about this series, very cool looking mini. This is my big question mark, the Falconwood Files. On on paper, you know, a Stranger Theme-esque final feature. Very, very cool. I, I am a huge Stranger, Stranger Things fan. I did follow it pretty much since the first series dropped. And yeah, very cool. I like the Final Girls. I think we were talking a little bit about on the Discord how I think the Final Girls really kind of show off that, you know, that 80s vibe. But I will say, something else I noticed about this one is we got a D20. D20 and Final Girl. We also got some uh, mirrored victim meeples. So, yeah, I, I like it. I will say, huge question mark whether this is going to be a huge hit for me or, you know, just okay. But we do have four minis. We have one for the Slayer, two Final Girls, and we looks like we got a van. And I would say this next one right here, the Merrick Murders, is probably the big, the big staple for this, for at least this box. Um, I think uh, Hans was obviously, you know, the showcase. Let's let's use that word, showcase for series one. I'm not really sure who I would say was the showcase for series two. Um, they kind of switched it up from it being uh, the uh, the alien. Uh, I call it aliens because it's very aliens-esque. Or, uh, you know, to the big bad wolf, I do think the Tormentor is probably a good, you know, showcase uh, killer for this series. Very Saw-esque. I am very, I would say this is probably my second, my second most excited one. I'm, I'm anxious to see what they do with this. Componently, I don't see anything like a D20 or some extra dice or, uh, you know, Anything crazy that's uh, added to the components for this feature. We do have four more minis, vehicle, you know, two final girls, and uh, the killer miniature. And then the last one, definitely my third, my third favorite, at least on paper, on, on the campaign. Uh, the Eyeless Utopia location, Don't Make a Sound. I think that's what's intriguing to me, is the title, Don't Make a Sound. I don't know what kind of mechanics are going to be added to this. But, you know, very Tremors-esque. But I'll also say it's not even just Tremors-esque. It's almost like the location is Tremors-esque. And then we have some kind of alien entity uh, as the killer. So very, very cool. Um, noise marker. 
Don't see anything too crazy as well. And four more miniatures. Four more miniatures. And yeah, that is up. Those are the five features. Like I said, we will have a vignette announced. They have not announced what it is. I assume it will be a stretch goal, stretch goal announcement. But we have a better announcement, and we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, more information on the gameplay, so definitely check that out if you're unfamiliar with the game. I assume a lot of you are going to be pretty pretty familiar checking out this Series 3 uh, Kickstarter preview. Um, more information on how to be played. Uh, we do have a rule book that is uh, available to read. And then it shows all the miniatures for, you know, Sunny Days Mall, Hellscape, Falconwood, Merrick Warehouse, and uh, Utopia. Very cool. I didn't mention this, but I do think the Merrick Warehouse is probably one of the more exciting locations as well. And then we have a special effects crate. So if you get one of the boxes... You're going to need a special effects crate instead of getting a full playmat box. The, the first one out of playmat box that was specifically more for Series 1. Uh, when they came out with the Series 2, I believe the uh, intent was to make the playmat more uh, accessible for everything. Kind of future-proofing what they might do as far as some of what these features do. But what you're going to get in the special effects crate, at least... Right now, they could always add some more stuff. Is they're giving us a Final Girl dice tray. Very cool. Um, six tier dice. I thought this was funny. They kind of, uh, if you read it, they talked about how, you know, a lot of the reason, inspiration, you know, behind Final Girl was, you know, making, making, making those tiers come out on some of the players when they, you know, they didn't make it. So it'll be a tier tracker. And then there's going to be almost like a playmat extension. Just kind of adds more space. I don't, I will say I did notice with the playmats, there's a little bit of modularity as far as how you want to set it up, a lot of different ways to do stuff. Nothing set in stone, but I do think some of the stuff they added to this will help me personally um, organize myself a little better. It will take up some more real estate, so keep that in mind as well. Um, and then we got pledge levels. So let's talk about pledge levels. Um, they are going to let you all the card stuff. They did set the pledge levels up a little differently than they did with Series 2. Um, so if you want all the card stuff, it's basically 20 bucks a box plus shipping of... You need a base box. It's 20 bucks, I believe, for the base box as well. Um, but then any of them. Any of them, you can just... If you don't have one, maybe you didn't buy all of them and you just kind of want to add the ones you like. That was my intention going into <laughs> Series 2. Complete fail on my part. I didn't stick to it. But then if you want to just get the feature films for Series 3, you have a pledge level for that. I believe that's what I'm currently at. I will definitely up it up to the Series 3 Ultimate. But then you have a pledge level for just the uh, features and the minis. Very cool. And then we also have the Series 3 Ultimate. Fetch. We'll have the box. We'll have a bonus feature box. Um, cast and crew box for you to store the miniatures. I don't know what they're going to add in addition to the box. Um Series 1 was made to hold your core box, your features, your cast and crew, and then your special features box. Series 2 was made to hold a box of props in lieu of the core box. You could always, you know, do what you want with them, but that's kind of what it was designed for. So I don't know yet what they will add to the Series 3 box. I will link that in the comments when, you know, that's updated, whether it's a stretch goal or whatnot. Same with the vignetta because it hasn't been announced yet. And then if you're brand new to the series and you want to save yourself some money and not do what I did, <laughs> uh, there's a huge pledge to get everything. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. All right, so now we got the stretch goals. We will get to the 300K funded here in a minute. That's in an update, and I want to talk about that. That's a huge announcement. But then they've already added the Series 3 lore scenario book, and uh, it should be, probably be unlocked by now. The Paula Mini, it's a promo, and a secret envelope for her. Don't know what's to come after that. Hopefully they will announce the vignetta soon. That's part of that uh, combination. You know, there was 250 combinations of just the feature films. You add the vignetta to it, that's another 45 now. Yeah, each vignetta, 15 locations, and that's not even true. Um, we'll get there, we'll get there. And then uh, some add-ons, some add-ons. Mystery box, I think, is a little pricier for this one, but they did say Componently is way more exceptional than the ones in the in the past. Also bigger. 
Um, twenty dollar core box. That's that's what I wanted to know. And then if you need a ultimate box for series two or series three, everything in it. So very interesting. It doesn't look like they're doing uh, individual boxes anymore. So definitely keep that in mind. Shipping table obviously is going to matter depending on how much stuff you get. U.S. looking anywhere from like fifteen to what twenty twenty nine thirty. Okay. And then uh, more information, videos. Like I said, there are some videos linked on here. I have so much Final Row content. Once again, thank you so much for watching it. I have uh, done unboxings. I've done playthroughs. I've done a top five. And I'm going to do some more stuff for this campaign as well. So expect some Final Row content around you know, each week for this campaign. I'm going to do some special stuff, preview uh, playthrough I haven't ever done. And I'm also going to be doing another top five video focused on series one. Going to be talking killers this time. A lot of people have asked me about it, so we're going to do that. But I'm going to get us over to the update real quick. This is huge. This is probably... I don't know if anybody was expecting this. There was a lot of things I was expecting for this announcement to be potentially maybe a digital version. I don't know if that would have been something I would have wanted. Uh, you know, just a bunch of components they could have done, but I think what they did was pretty good. So let's let's go look at this. This is a brand new, brand new reveal for this campaign. There's a video. If you want to watch the video. It has a full unboxing of this, but what we, I'm going to scroll all the way past all this information and get down to the brand new feature. That's a special edition. It is a special feature, was not designed to go on any of the boxes. They're trying to get it out for Christmas. I don't know if it'll necessarily for sure make it by Christmas, but they're giving everybody that backs this campaign an option to get it for such a discounted price. So we're looking at Krampus as the killer, which I'm going to tell you right now, Thematically, it's okay for me, but just the fact that we're getting more Final Girl, we're getting more Final Girl before the end of the year, and you know, just <laughs> having another location is going to be fun. So we have, this is called the North Pole Nightmare, we got Krampus, the Horned Devil, at Santa's Village, one of the Final Girls is Mrs. Claus, the other one is Cindy, she's an elf, very cool, but that doesn't even, that's not even... All of it. We're getting miniatures in this. We're getting all the minis included in this box. So reindeer, Krampus, Mrs. Claus, Cindy the Elf, all those are coming in the box. I'm looking to see if there's any components. Maybe I didn't see what I initially went through here. Some presents cards, um, Krampus presents cards. So definitely, you know, you expect that kind of stuff when we're looking at individual features, having some more, you know, card mechanics but i'm not saying anything like a d20 so but very very cool but what i wanted to show you and i kind of scrolled past is here we go right now right now the price on this for anybody that backs the campaign is 15 dollars, and it will just looks like what nine hundred thousand. it'll be ten dollars and then potentially free maybe even free shipping i don't know how they're going to handle that but i will say series two made two million dollars two million dollars so I, I don't know what this is gonna do but i do think we have a really good shot really good shot at uh of hitting that so let's go back to the campaign or let's go to rewards we'll go to rewards that's a good you can tell a lot of stuff a lot of stuff funding right now huge board games i actually got another preview to do after this one on game found so look for that one but yeah so a la carte you can go that way and this is kind of what i want to talk about so we'll talk about the talk about how i uh, want to approach this because i know people are final girl fanatics talk to you every day <laughs> and uh maddie's gonna think that's funny anyways all in easy decision if you're a final girl fanatic want to pick it up no big deal but what the conversation i want to have is kind of what i thought about when this was announced i still have so much content to play i played through all the features i played both vignettes but the combinations i mean even with just the original two boxes 100 plus the two uh vignettes that's like another 20 crazy crazy so i have not played all those combinations i am probably not even close to all those combinations but i have played all the features so i do feel confident backing this game knowing it will get played will i ever play all the combinations 
I hope so. But I, I don't I don't know. I don't know if I'll ever play every single combination that Series 3 will bring to the game. But I do want to play it. I want to play a lot of it. And, uh... Is this so? Okay. Here we go. Here we go. So there's the Series 3 minis. So what I am currently at right now is I currently am just sitting here. I'm going to add it up. I'm definitely going to get the box. N not even... Not even questioning it. That'll be my pledge level. But... I will say, as I keep putting more content out, I, I do want to look back and go, if I if I hadn't want the miniatures, had I not want the box to keep them all in, the playmats, I would probably be okay picking my favorite features and just grabbing them and keeping, you know, my Final Girl collection, you know, my absolute fave. Just like you do with your DVD collection of horror movies, you know, pick your favorites or own them all. That's kind of that's what I'm thinking a lot of people are going to be Thinking. So yeah, a lot of tough, tough decisions. I can't tell you what to do. It's uh was a hard decision for me as well, just because, like I said, I wasn't quite ready for more Final Girl content. But I do think by next October, I definitely will be. I will be ready to see some of these because I will say, looking at Series 1, Series 2, and Series 3, Series 3 is definitely the one I look at the entire set and go, that would be the one. If I was looking at all of them, I would probably go straight into series three, not owning anything, only wanting one. It just it just happens to be what the themes are for the features. I think for me is what's gonna pull me in. But yeah, like I said, that's that's obviously your decision to make. Lots of decisions to make, especially if you're brand new to Final Girl. I wish you all the best of luck. But definitely come check out some content. Like I said, have unboxings for all the older stuff. Have some playthroughs throughout the series. Uh, I have one top five from series one. I'm going to do another top five from series one. And I will be uh, probably doing another playthrough in the next couple weeks before this campaign is out. So definitely check that out. Subscribe to the channel. More Final Girl is not a bad thing. It's, it's just, it, it happens to just be you. Do you want more Final Girl? Or are you, are you good sitting? Because I will tell you, as much as you're getting a discount, if you just order the Ultimate Box from Van Ryder Games as a pre-order when they go up online, you're not really going to hurt yourself too bad if, if you want to wait and see. you know, I don't think I would blame you. I will be backing. Hopefully, uh, you know, hopefully this campaign does really good, like I said. Congratulations. I already said this, but congratulations to AJ and the team. You guys run an excellent campaign in the past. I'm expecting some really cool reveals along the way for Series 3. Um, if you want to see more Final Girl stuff, definitely go to the Discord. He's AJ's pretty good about teasing some stuff as well. So if you want to get all uh, immersed into this world, definitely go check out that Van Rider Discord. I will link it in my comments just because, not my comments, but in my description just so you guys can find it easier. Yeah, it's pretty much going to wrap up this preview video. Best of luck. I will add comments as this campaign rolls out because I will be watching this one. But until next time, much love.